Are you not sure why your baby is waking up exactly 45 minutes or 60 minutes after their bedtime? This is called a false start. And I'm Anna from Little Wing Sleep and I'm here to help you. Make sure you subscribe so that we can give you lots of baby sleep tips because parenthood can be a ride. <laughs> so false starts, what are they and how do they happen? False starts are one of those things that from a baby, when they go down to bedtime, then often they want to sleep through, and that is their longest stretch. The first stretch of the night is the start of the night that is the longest stretch. So the longest stretch is the key to know when your baby's body clock is starting. If your baby's body clock is not starting till say 10 p.m. and their longest stretch is 10 till 3, then you know that that is where they think bedtime is. Anything before that is a nap. We want to make sure that we move our body clocks to, make, to be at approximately 7 to 7.30. If your baby is a newborn, that's going to be between 8 to 10 p.m. At around 12 weeks, we definitely want to be at that 7.30, um, 8 o'clock, and then by 16 weeks, 100% at 7 o'clock for bedtime. So a false start is when you put a baby down to sleep and then they wake up about 45 to 60 minutes later and needing help to get back to sleep. There are three reasons why this might be happening. The first reason is overtiredness. If your baby is overtired, what happens is, is that they have excess cortisol in their bodies. Cortisol is our fight, flight, or freeze hormone, and this means that baby is unable to calm their body. Once they do one full sleep cycle at 45 minutes, they think it's go time again. Their bodies are good to go. The, the solution to this is really to bring forward those naps and to have more naps in the day and prioritize sleep. The second reason might be that the body clock is actually later or earlier. I was recently just working with a baby who their body clock was at 8.30, however, we were putting him down at 7. We had to jump start that body clock by going 8 and incrementally bringing it back. Otherwise, he thought it was a nap before his bedtime at 8.30. The third reason that you might get a false start is if your baby is uh, not confident in how they get to sleep. If someone else is guiding that sleep process so they're feeling unsure about how to fall asleep by themselves, then when they do that one sleep cycle, if they have too much or too little sleep pressure, then they're going to be like, hey, come back here, I need help falling asleep and I'm really tired. Could you please just do that for me? The solution to that is really to teach your baby how to fall asleep independently. That is exactly what we do in Sleep Sleep Baby and Nurturing Newborn Sleep, so check them out. However, if you're struggling and you really don't know what to do, make sure that you go and have a look at our free resources on our website. Often, those false starts are from overtiredness. So let's start with our free awake times chart where you can find out how long your baby should be awake before the next nap to prevent overtiredness to stop those false starts so you have a true start and a fantastic night. Hey there, mama. Are you feeling exhausted, frustrated, and just a little defeated? I hear you, and I've been there, and thankfully, I can help. Let's teach your baby to sleep. I'm talking 10 to 12 hours of sleep each night. Little Wink's Sleep Sleep Baby program uses a science-based, gentle, parent-present approach that fosters healthy attachment while teaching independent sleep skills. We don't believe in letting your baby cry it out, this program includes everything you need, such as our insider strategies, both on night sleep and naps, as well as extras like our monthly live Q&A.